Hi, Megan. My name's Renee. I'll be the nurse doing your assessment today, okay? Okay. So the bulk of our assessment is going to um, be a neurological assessment. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is testing your cranial nerves. Do you know what those are? No. Okay, you have 12 cranial nerves. And basically what they do is they control your senses and some of your motor function. When I say senses, examples would be like your sense of smell and sight. And motor functions would be... Um, examples would be your uh, facial expressions when you make a face or you smile, okay? And then we're also going to check out your muscle tone and your strength from your head to your toes as well as your balance and coordination, okay? All right, let's start out with a few questions. Can you please state your full name for me? Megan McCollum. Good. And what year is it? 2015. And state your full birthday with year? 11-4-1986. And what city and state are we in right now? Whitehall, Illinois. Good. Basically what we were doing there was just uh, testing your level of consciousness, make sure you didn't have any compromise or delay in your memory when it comes to knowing who you are, where you're at, and what time it is. Okay? And you did wonderfully. Um, next question is, um, since this is going to be basically neurological, I want to know, do you have any headaches, any unusual or infrequent head frequent headaches? Excuse me. Yes, I'm a migraine sufferer. Okay, and... What triggers these migraines? Smells. Smells. Okay. When you get these migraines, um, is it something that comes on gradually? Do you know that they're coming or does it just kind of hit you like running into a brick wall? I know they're coming. Okay. So you know what to do to avoid maybe the, the intensity reaching maximum level? Yes. By avoiding certain smells, right? Okay, good. Um, did you, when did these, when did these, uh, let me start with asking, when did these, uh, headaches actually start? When I was little. When you were little? Was there any kind of trauma or anything that happened that these migraines proceeded afterwards? Um, well, there's a family history of migraines, and I did have head trauma when I was little. I was hit in the head with a baseball bat when okay. I was about six. I have a scar that is still there from it. Okay, all right. When we actually get to the hands-on physical assessment part, I'm going to touch that scar if that's okay. I just want to see what it feels like. Okay, um, what do you do um, besides avoiding smells when it comes to these migraines um, as far as treatment goes? Um, caffeine helps. Okay. And I go to the chiropractor and I get acupuncture. Okay, have you actually seen an actual doctor? I, I love modern medicine. I think it holds a great place in our... Um, in our role today, but I was, I'm just curious, have you ever actually gone to a doctor about these headaches? A general practitioner. A general practitioner, and what did they suggest? Uh, medication, but there's too many side effects for the medication, so I just, I would prefer to do it the way I'm doing it. Okay, and what kind of side effects do these medications have that you don't like? Um, they can make you tired, they can make it so you can't function every day, and you can't, you know, do your day-to-day tasks, because you're either tired or you're kind of slow, and it's just sure. not... Um, and some of them can make you lose your teeth. They, they get wow. the calcium off your teeth and then your teeth kind of rot out. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a side effect I wouldn't want. Okay. Um, have you actually gone to a neurologist by any chance or just, just the general practitioner? Just the general practitioner. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like you've been dealing with these headaches for a long time, so I, I seriously doubt that it's anything super serious or you would have shown progressing side effects by now. But I would suggest that you go see a neurologist because they might have some better ideas on how to control these headaches better, these migraines better, and they may have, know some other medications that don't have such awful side effects. Uh, totally up to you, but that, that would be my suggestion when it comes to your migraines, okay? Okay, um, now at this point, we're going to start the actual hands-on assessment, okay? If you have any questions about anything that I'm doing or why I'm doing it, please feel free to ask me at any time. And I will, I will also try to explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as I'm doing it, okay? And please forgive me if I talk too fast. That seems to be my thing. I tend to talk very fast all the time. So slow me down if I'm losing you, okay? All right. The first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to look at your face. Can you take your glasses off? Okay. Thank you. I'm going to look at your face and just make sure everything is symmetrical. And what that means is I just want to make sure that one side of the face is identical to the other side for the most part. You know, there's always going to be a few little differences, but we just want to make sure that the face looks basically the same on both sides. And I'm also going to touch your scar here from your baseball bat injury. That's horrible. Did you go to the hospital during that, I hope? I don't remember. You really don't remember? Is that long ago? Or did you black out from it? I walked away from it. You walked away from it. It was just so long ago you don't remember it. Okay. All right. 
it's movable. It's fairly soft. I, I really think it's just scar tissue, but okay. All right, now I'm just going to look at your eyes really fast. Okay. The first nerve that we're testing is going to be your cranial nerve two, which is your optic nerve. All right, that's um, your optic nerve is basically in control of your vision. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is, without your glasses, can you read the line right above the red line? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and put your glasses back on. Now can you read it? E-D-F-C-Z-P. Good. So your near vision is fine with corrective vision, which is totally fine. Okay, the next thing we're going to test is, I'm going to have you hold that card over your right eye while I hard hold this card over my left eye. I'm going to invade your personal space here and get really close, okay? Now, looking me straight in the eye, I want you to tell me when you can see my hand come into your peripheral vision on the left side, okay? All right. Yeah. Good. And? Yeah. Good. Switch eyes. Ready? Yeah. Okay. And now? Yeah. Good. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Passing with flying colors. I lost my pen, but that's okay. I don't need it. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Next nerves that we're going to test are cranial nerve 3, 4, and 6. This is your ocular motor, trochlear, and abducens. Basically, these, um, these nerves control your eye muscles. It gives you the ability to look up, down, sideways, to move your eyeballs back and forth. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have you just follow my finger. Okay? Good job. No moving of the head. That's good. Does this remind you of a vision test when you have to go in and get new glasses? Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now, I just want you to look at my pen, okay? And just keep your eyes on my pen as I bring it closer. Good. What I was checking for there is your eyes converge in together as the pen gets closer to your face. And it did, so your muscles are working just fine there. All right. All right. Now I'm just going to check your pupils to begin with. They're nice and round and equal. I want to see how they react to light, so just sit still. Okay, good. Good. Both constrict with light, so they're both accommodating. All right, great. You did fantastic. Good job. All right, now we move on to the ears. Okay, cranial nerve number eight is uh, what gives you the sense of hearing. So I'm going to stand behind you, and I'm going to whisper three words, and I want you to repeat them back to me. Okay? All right. Baseball dog house. Good job. Good job. So far, so good. All right, now we move to the nose. Okay? So this cranial nerve controls your sense of smell. Okay, this is the olfactory nerve. This is cranial nerve number one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold each nostril shut, and I want you to take a deep breath into the other one. I just want to make sure that there's patent, patency, there's nothing obstructing your sense of smell, your to be able to inhale, okay? So go ahead. Okay, and again. Okay, sounds good. A little bit congested. Do you have allergies? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can tell, but it sounds it sounds pretty good. Okay. Now I just need you to close your eyes for me, and we're going to actually test your sense of smell. Close your eyes. I'm going to wave something underneath your nose. I want you to tell me when you smell it and what it is. Okay. Shouldn't be that tough here. Ready? I smell it. It's alcohol. Very good. It's a rubbing alcohol pad. Yay. All right. Good job. All right. Cranial nerve number 12 is your hypoglossal nerve. Basically, it controls the muscles of your tongue. So I just need you to stick your tongue out at me. Go like this. Okay. Tongue is straight and in the center. That's good. That's good. Um, if it were to go to one side or the other, it could show... Um, possible paralysis of one side of the face or the other due to stroke or some other kind of illness or something that had happened. But yours comes straight out and it's, and it's perfect, so you have no dysfunctions there. Okay. Now, the next nerve we're going to test is your cranial nerve number five, which is your trigeminal nerve, okay? This is going to control the muscles back here that you use when you eat. See that when I 
like that. When I clench my teeth together, both those muscles come out. I want you to clench your teeth together like that. Okay, good. All right, can you try to open your mouth against my resistance? And close it. Okay, good. Okay, fantastic. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do to test this cranial nerve is... This cranial nerve also um, controls the sense of uh, touch or feel in your face. So I'm going to take this cotton ball and I'm going to rub it on different places of your face with your eyes closed. I want you to tell me when you can feel it and where you can feel it, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. I can feel it on my left cheek. Okay. So my chin. So my forehead. So my right cheek. Good job. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Only two more nerves to go. All right. Cranial nerve number seven is your facial nerve. It's responsible for um, the muscles in your face when you make a faces. For example, can you give me a big toothy smile? Everything is even. Symmetrical on both sides. Okay. Can you just show me your teeth? Okay, good. Can you fill your cheeks up with air? Okay, I'm going to squeeze them out. <clears throat> good job. That was fun. That's my favorite. All right, good job. And the last cranial nerve is going to be your accessory nerve. What this controls is your sternocleidoid mastoid muscle, which runs right through here, and your trapezius muscle, which runs through here, okay? What this controls is it's your muscle strength for your head to turn and your shoulders to move up and down. So I want you to turn your head to the left against my resistance. Turn it this way against my resistance. Or, yeah, ready? Okay, good. Now the other way. Good, okay. I want you to try to lift up your shoulders. Okay, good. Nice and strong. Good job. Okay, now that was all the cranial nerves. All right, do you have any questions about what I did or why I did it? Did I explain it well enough to you? Nope, I got it. You got it? Okay, good job. All right, now we are gonna inspect your arms here. I want you to hold your arms out for me so I can look at the muscles. Okay, and I'll hold them straight out towards me like this. Okay, good, I'll bend this arm, okay. Now, I want you to try to flex like you're making a muscle against my resistance. Okay, good. Now, try to put your arm down, leaving it like that. There you go. Try to put your arm down. Good job. Other side. Okay, ready? Try to flex. Okay, and now try to put it down. There you go. Good job. Perfect. So, your muscles are working fantastic. And you know what I just realized? We skipped a cranial nerve number nine, so we're going to go back really fast. Sorry. Whoops, I'm making a mess. Okay, so I need you to stick your tongue out and say, ah. Uh. Okay, this is the part you're going to hate. Okay, yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody hates that part. I'm so sorry. Yes, that, <laughs> that cranial nerve, I know if you need to take a minute to try to draw your eyes from that gag, please take your time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, that cranial nerve is responsible, obviously, for the muscles and the actions in the back of your throat, your gag reflex, more specifically, which is what I just made you do, and I'm so sorry. Um, okay. All right, now back to our arms. So sorry that I missed that, but you're probably wishing I had completely forgotten about it. I'm sure. I'm so sorry. All right. Um, we are going to go back to, um, first of all, I'm going to do some passive range of motion, which means I'm just going to control your arm. Just let your arm go loose like a noodle, Okay. And I just want to control it and move it around. Okay, good. The other side. Okay, good. Awesome. All right. So, basically we just checked your uh, biceps and triceps through your main muscles in your arms for strength and tone so far. Okay, now we're going to check some coordination. It's kind of like a field sobriety test. I think you you work in the criminal justice field, right? So I'm sure you've probably seen this before. Ready? We're going to do one of our field sobriety tests where you close your eyes and bring your finger to your nose. Do each side four times. Good job. To four? 
Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> okay, now this time I want you to put your arms out again. You can keep your eyes open. I want you to touch your eyes, then touch my finger, okay? Touch your nose. Did I say eyes? <laughs> touch your nose, and then touch my finger, starting with your left hand. Okay, do it again. Same hand? Yep. Just keep using the same hand until I ask you to switch, okay? Again. A little weird, didn't you? You have to think about it. Okay, try your other hand. Okay, again. Good. Again. There you go. Now you got the hang of it. You had to think about it there. That's cool, though. It's a little bit weird to ask somebody to do that. All right. All right. The last test of coordination for our arms and hands is what we're going to check is. It's pretty easy. You just have to touch. I just want you to touch your thumb to each finger, backwards and forwards. Perfect. Awesome job. All right. All right, now it's time for the legs. All right. Can I see the leg? See the leg? Thank you. All right, just let it go loose, okay? I'm just going to kind of turn it around, just make sure everything is loose. Okay, good. Next leg. Same thing. We're just going to rotate it and check it. See, it's loose. A little resistance, but that's normal. Most people, it's very hard for them to just sit there let somebody else manipulate their limbs. A little resistance, like you gave me there a little bit on your legs, totally normal. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we did with your arms. I want to have you um, try to kick out against my resistance. Okay, good. Now try to bring your heel to your back of your thigh. Okay, good. Other leg. Okay, try to kick out. Good. Try to come in. Good job. Good job. All right, this is where it gets really active, but you're going to have some fun. I need you to stand up for me. Okay, let's reposition this so we can see you. Okay. Okay, I want you to walk to that corner and then walk back to me. I just want to see your gait. I want to see how you walk, your steps, how far apart your steps are, and how steady they are. Good. Looks fantastic. All right. Now we're into the balance test. I need you to... Let me see here. I'm going to do this so we can see your whole, make sure you're not swaying there. Okay. I need you to put your feet together, put your hands at your side, and close your eyes and just stand there. Well, you're pretty steady. I sway a lot more than you do. Okay, good. A little swaying is normal. That's our self trying to make sure we stay balanced. If you were to actually fall over, that's why I stayed so close to you in case you did, I could catch you, then that could be a sign of something cerebrovascular or other condition that controls balance in your head that would need to be checked out. But you did just fine. Okay? Okay. Now I need you to do a heel to, heel to toe walk, just like this for me, which I'm terrible at, so I think I need to go see a doctor. But <laughs> I need you to do that for me, okay? You can put your hands out if you need to for balance. Okay, good, fantastic. Stand in the center of the room again, and I just want you to hop on both, uh, on each foot like five times. Again, this is a chest test of balance and coordination both. Good, okay, pull your chair back up and have a seat. All right, nice to see us, yes. All right, you did fantastic. Everything checks out fine. The only thing that I can really educate you on, like I said, was the headaches if they persist, or especially if they start to get worse as you get older. I would definitely go see a neurologist about that, okay? Do you have any other questions for me? Nope. Nope? Okay, well then, oh my God, my hands are sweating. I'm so sorry. I'll shake your hand, but my hands are really sweaty here. <laughs> Thank you for coming in, Megan. 